Seven, six, five, four, three, two, one. You'll never have the sacred stone. Hey, hey, it's Wayne with HaveToFlip.com. Yep, I almost start every one of these the exact same. <laughs> uh, it's definitely uh, doing the exact same thing every day is uh, kind of boring. Um, I can tell you some of the situations I've ran into. Um, yesterday, uh, I shipped out my first wrong piece. Mm. I thought I could go the whole time without doing it. I shouldn't have thought that way because I'm sure it would happen. The only good thing is is that it was an actual um, mispiece pull uh, rather than somebody else's orders. I got all the orders correct. Um, I normally check 100%. Uh, I don't know what happened. I really don't know what happened. It was 100% human error. Um, it was totally the wrong color, uh, the wrong brand. There no reason why I should have not caught that and um, I didn't so um, I got a little lax I think about how well everything was going and I shouldn't have been uh, the whole point of having uh, the systems in play that I have is to ensure that that doesn't happen when I stick a label on the package saying that we you know, double, triple check our shipping to ensure that you get your product correct and you don't. Uh, that looks extremely bad on me. Um, I wrote the lady, uh, I had the item still here. Uh, I upgraded it to next day and shipped it out yesterday. So, uh, total loss on that one. Um, she wrote back, said she would, uh, uh, looks forward to doing business with again. So, Hopefully I kept a customer. I mean, that's the whole point of doing anything like that. So um, what happened was um, when it prints on the side of the shipping label, uh, it's pretty small. And what happened was uh, it was like C13 and because I use a dash in between, so C-13, uh, it looked like G-13. And I just pulled the wrong item and shipped the wrong item. So, uh, real quick fix. I mean, I, I found uh, G13, deleted it out of my uh, inventory, I grabbed C13, slapped the label on it, sent it right out. So, she should get that tomorrow. And uh, all is good. So, um, I made sure <laughs> yesterday that I checked everything 100%. So um, just something human error slacked on and uh, uh, it just shows how easy it is to do a misship. So I um, got that done and out of the way. Um, still moving a ton over. Um, when I did my initial uh, auctions for uh, my vacation, uh, when they all dropped off, I just left them in my um, unsold. Uh, here in a couple days, we're going to hit July. So I'm going to move as much as I can over um, that isn't the auctions, which I got all those done today, um, over to my second store. And then all I have left is the auctions. Uh, I have, it'll be about 300. So within next month, I'll be able to put those out almost twice. So I'll move another hundred over and then rotate those back in uh, another, I don't know, probably a seven day or 10 day cycle. See if I can get some more of those moved so I don't have to actually move them physically over to my second store. Not that I care, I'm, I just, uh, my time uh, invested in that I'm worried that I'm investing too much time and stuff that I've had for, you know, six to eight, uh, 12 months and moving it over to a second store, trying to get it to sell rather than focusing on new inventory coming in the door and getting that back out. So I'm struggling to figure out what I should do. Uh, I moved everything over that I thought I had to move over and then I think I'm just gonna move a few uh, a day over so that I can come down here and focus on today's stuff. Um, 
the way this weekend's going to work out, I'm not going to be able to go to Dayton, which I can't say that I'm too sad about for all the driving that we actually did. So um, I'll probably try to go somewhere local here. Uh, Saturday um, is the end of the tags, and then Sunday is brand new tags. So um, I might hit some of the 99 cent tags. Uh, I want to start focusing on... Um, some of the next season items to bulk up. I have a lot already, but I want to be ahead um, and not sitting like I am this spring without any shorts. So what I want to do is I need to make sure that I'm going to the stores quite often because as soon as stuff starts disappearing off the shelf, I want to make sure I hit the bins because I want to be able to stockpile a lot of spring items for next year so that um, as soon as um, these winter items peak I'm gonna start throwing in all my summer items and spring items so that my stores are flooded full so when um, the down down sweep of winter and the up sweep of summer hits I'm already there so um, concept is I want to be one season behind or one season ahead uh, every time. I thought I was already there, uh, and the way things are going on right now, um, I've been selling a lot and not replenishing a lot of it back. So um, I definitely need to get back on, on that movement of getting stuff back in early and not uh, sitting here with nothing. So I've said it and preached it in like every video, uh, but um, it's going to take me a while to figure it out. <laughs> I'm just pounding it in my head. Um, I did go over, um, I'm trying to do sporting goods, although uh, it's not <laughs> the, the right time to do it, but um, researching uh, a new field, I want to try to get uh, in touch with uh, a new um area a new category um, one or two or three a month uh, and try to uh, be able to have uh, a really good solid idea of what I'm looking for so when I go in um, I have items um, what everybody kind of knows with clothing is is you have this massive kind of summer slowdown um, I know some people aren't when they're ramping up but uh, when I'm steady like this, there is definitely a decrease, and I'm still feeling it. Uh, my store one is still tanking. Uh, I'm still a lot better than I was last year, but um, still not as good as the month before, really not as good as the, the following month after that. So um, I definitely feel it. Um, ramping up my second store, uh, it's doing fine. So as long as it seems like you're feeding the beast, it's okay. Um, I'm going to try to level out my first store, and by doing that, it's taking a dive. But I kind of knew it was going to happen. So um, what I want to do um, going forward is make sure that I have uh, items to cover that uh, slowdown, that summer slowdown. So um, definitely looking into sporting goods and swimming and fishing and, and golfing. And I want to learn uh, as much as I can in those because that's what sells um, that early spring and, and falls off during the summer so um, I don't have a problem with the items going from third to fourth quarter so I just got to make sure I'm covering the end of uh, quarter two and uh, quarter or, or end of quarter one and uh, all of quarter two so uh, I'm learning and I love it uh, I definitely like that aspect of it, especially when I start picking up items um, that I've figured out and they start selling. So um, definitely a uh, real good push forward, you know, when that stuff actually sells or when I can actually buy items without knowing um, what I have and, and when I get home and do my research that it is actually something. Um, means I'm definitely starting to retain a lot of the information, which is awesome. So today I'm gonna try to bust out some of these, um, the newer items uh, that we just got. 
and get those ready to be drafted. I got um, over 25 drafts done today already uh, and, and submitted. Um, we're going to try to get at least a tote or some uh, of these clothes done. I think one's pants, so it's going to fly through. So the one good thing about pants is they're so simple to photograph so and fast. So we're going to get through those, pack our orders, and then um, probably call it a day, work on system work. So until uh, tomorrow, guys, I hope you have a great one. Later. Unfortunately, all good things have to come to an end. And here we are. So if you liked the video, please give me a thumbs up. And if you'd like to continue to follow my journey, make sure you subscribe. So until then, I'll catch you on the flip side. Good night. Goodbye. See you later. Toodaloo.